Movie Fucking Out Review. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now then, this bit is one that was sent to me by lseller.co.uk. Um, great, great website. They're constantly updating their beers. I'll put a link in the descriptions. You really need to check them out if you're in the UK. Um, they're just a really nice site. I'm not saying that because they've sent me a free beer. As you know, they're just a great, great company. They, I mean, when they started out, the, to be honest with you, the first reason why I use them is because they accept PayPal. And now and again, I'll be at work and I want to buy some beers on my phone. And I can't always remember my credit card or my debit card details. And um, But I can always remember my PayPal password. So I went on there and I was looking around and I thought, I'll sell, I'll click on that. Oh, blimey, yeah, I had a look on there. And because they had a big range of Scottish beers, and I've never really been into the Scottish beers, or never had a chance to sort of try them, um, it was great. So, you know, added a couple of those, and it was a, and it was just such an easy experience. The beer came, best packaging ever. You've seen it when I've done my unboxing. It's, um, it's almost bulletproof, the packaging. And um, that's not to mention how nice the guys are. I mean, you chat, I've had a chat to Susan and Stu, uh, the guys who run Elf Cellar. Really nice people, really great to talk to, good laugh, good sense of humour. And, um, and you know, now and again, they'll send me a bottle of beer as what, with my order. I mean, you know, it's not like I'm on the ponce or anything like that. Now and again, they'll just send me one because they want to see it reviewed. And this is one they've sent me. It's from the Tempest Brewery. And they was um, very begrudgingly sending this one because apparently Susan actually had tears in her eyes before she sent this one because she loves it so much. It's their Mocha Porter and it comes in a, a big 7.4% for a porter, that's pretty big. Um, just below an Imperial Porter I believe. Um, right, let's see if there's any info on this. Okay, uh, it says Tempest Brewing Company, uh, it's the Red Eye Flight Mocha Porter and it says Actually, it just says on the side, I am a small batch limited released craft beer, brewed and bottled by hand at our Kelso Brewery. Please keep me cool and drink me as fresh as possible. And uh, they've got a website which is www.tempestbrewco.com. Um, I believe when they got these beers, they had to go to a, a car park at night and um, meet the brewer and get a couple of cases. So I'm really, really excited about this one and I really hope I like it as well. Right, where's my um, bottle opener? Bee bee! Where the bloody hell have I put that? Sorry. Found it. Okay. Um, it's over by the sink where I was cleaning up after that bloody madcap beer. Right. Gonna be putting it in my uh, big old tumbler because the porters always look nice in this. Um, it would help if I opened it as well. Right. Okay, cokes. I'm really, really looking forward to this. Susan, I'm sorry that I'm drinking one of this, one of these. I know you're um, a bit gutted about having to send this. <laughs> okay, look at that. That is pitch. Let's see if there's any um, light getting through. No, there's no light getting through that whatsoever. Um, nice tan head. Beautiful. That always. Oh, I just think it's so appealing when you see a nice sort of dark tan head on a beer. Um, I know there's a couple of other reviewers out there who like that sort of visual. So let's give it a nose. Wow, that is big time coffee. Big, big coffee notes. Um, there's some nice sweetness. There's some really, really subtle dark fruit in that, but it's really, really mellow. Uh, the coffee is quite predominant, but it's not a horrible bitter coffee. It's, I don't know. It's hard to describe. Um, like I said in my previous reviews, I'm not a massive coffee fan, but I'm really starting to appreciate it more now that I've started to try porters and imperial stouts and stuff like that. Um, I believe my my um, taste buds are starting to progress a little bit, and. Um, I'm hoping it uh, reflects when I try this. But yeah, big coffee notes. Um, tiny bit of sweetness. Not really getting much more than that. The coffee is really predominant. Um, 
Oh, I really hope I like this. <laughs> Susan, <laughs> thank you very much. Stuart, cheers. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. That is bloody beautiful. Oh, wow, the aftertaste. <clears throat> right, okay, sorry. That is so bloody smooth. Um, big time coffee, big time bitterness. Um, not, you know, humongous amounts, but just pure. Oh, it's so hard for me to describe. Um, if I was more of a sort of like a coffee aficionado, I could probably tell you what sort of coffee it tasted like. But to me, it tastes like really sort of um, expensive dark coffee, but you're getting this nice bittering hop as well and a nice smoothness, um, which almost like caresses the tongue underneath. Um, I shouldn't like this, but I really, really do. And, um, and I'm glad in a way because <clears throat> I believe my... Um, my palate's waking up a little bit because ever since I started doing the beer reviews, I've only been doing them since June of 2000, well, June, 2000, June last year, so it's not even been a year really. Um, and um, I never really thought I'd be drinking anything like this around about this time. And um, now that I'm tasting it, it's just, I don't know, it's just, oh god, it's just like my tongue's waking up a lot more. And um, this is beautiful. This is really nice stuff. There's, I mean, there's seven, what is it? Seven point, seven point four percent. So there's no alcohol burn whatsoever. You're just getting a lovely, dark, rich coffee. Um, there's some, there's tons of dark chocolate underneath as well. Sorry, I forgot to mention that which is just counterbalancing with the coffee, making sure it doesn't sort of, you know, blow up and make it too powerful. Um, it is so well crafted and you're getting this gorgeous bitterness at the end, which is, you know, not too much and not too little. It's just, I don't know, it just feels so welcoming on the tongue. It's hard to describe. And it just sticks around and sticks around. And you can just sort of just sit there and, and savour it, and um, and that's what I'm going to do with the rest of this. There's no way I'm going to drink the rest of this during this review. Um, this is beautiful stuff. I can see why Susan was a bit pissed off actually sending this to me. Um, this is gorgeous. Um, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, 10 Pest Brewing Company. This is available on alecellar.co.uk Really, seriously, some of the guys in the UK, give it a go and let me know what you think of it. Um, this is a definite beer that I'm going to be using for my beer mouths if in the future. Because I really want to see some of the American guys review this and the Canadian guys. Um, this is beautiful stuff. Really, really nice. Um, I've had it slightly chilled. I'm going to let it warm up a little bit as well and just enjoy it for the rest of the evening. But it's a 10 out of 10 beer. It really is. Bloody hell. That is really nice. Um, thank you very much for watching the Urban Viking Hour review. That has actually quenched my anger for the madcap. So, brilliant. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys again soon. <laughs> Cheers. And I apologise for any rambling that I've done. I am a little bit lightheaded, but not too much. So, 
Anyway. Cheers. <laughs>